What's up, bros? Now, recently I realized that there's actually a small problem with the Lego Ninjago Seabound Scuba Ninja minifigures that we all know and love. Now, most of you bros probably already know that this problem exists, but as you can see here, you can easily place Lego minifigures on a flat surface. Same goes for these Lego Ninjago Seabound Scuba Ninja minifigures. Just place them on a flat surface, but it's really easy for them to be knocked over like dominoes, sadly. But when it comes to normal Lego minifigures, you can literally just place the minifigure on like, for instance, a Lego tile that has studs or just any Lego part or piece that has studs. And that's basically like a normal Lego minifigure thing. It's a no-brainer. I shouldn't even be explaining that. Just place a minifigure on studs because you can place a stud in the hole of the legs. I don't need to explain that. But the main problem with these Scuba Ninja minifigures or just any minifigure that has these flip-flop scuba diver pieces is the fact that you cannot place them on a studded surface. I mean, you just can't because of the way, like the mold of the flip-flops. It's just not compatible with Lego studs, so they just end up falling over really easily. But fear not, bros, I have actually found a solution. Now this technique I'm gonna be showing, I haven't talked about this, I haven't told anyone about this, and it's a secret technique that I literally just came up with as of me recording this yesterday, and uh, I'm just making a video about it now. But basically, what you wanna do here is you wanna take your Scuba Ninja minifigure or just any minifigure that has these flip-flop pieces right here. We're just gonna remove the flip-flop from the minifigure. And what you're gonna wanna do here is take this piece that you see right here in my hand. Now, the one I'm using is black because it fits the Scuba Ninja minifigure because the flip-flops are black. But this piece is in so many different colors. I have it in red as well. I have it in white, I believe, right here. And I also have it in gold, as you can see here. But I'll show a screenshot on the screen right now of like all the colors and the number of this piece on Bricklink. And this piece is really dope. It comes in a couple of different sets, I believe. But what you're gonna wanna do here is you're just gonna take your flip-flop and attach this piece, like slide it into the hole like that, and boom, that's basically the secret technique that I came up with. You can just reattach it to the minifigure legs, as you can see here, and you can just take another one of these pieces and just slide it into the hole right there. And um, I, uh, why am I using the white one? I should be using the white one. I'm gonna slide in the black one right here, and the secret technique is complete. And now, your Scuba Ninja minifigure or any other minifigure that has these flip-flops. Let me just attach in these white ones right here. Now they can stand on a stud surface like a Lego base plate or just any Lego piece that has studs. You can just like pop it on and the minifigure won't fall off. It just It's just like a normal Lego minifigure now. Now, another thing you can do with this technique that I created is the fact that this piece that I used that I attached to the flip-flops, there's another smaller hole in this piece, so you can actually attach like, for instance, a flaming fire piece, and you can actually like attach that right under the flip-flop if you use this technique. And let's attach another one. And now it looks like the flip-flops have like thrusters or something. So now Scuba Lloyd can fly. And fun fact, you can also attach an infinity stone to the flip-flop technique that I used. I don't know why you would want to do that though. Another thing you can do is if you want to display your minifigures that have these flip-flop scuba diver pieces, you can use these clear pieces. These pieces were introduced 
for the DC CMF and they're currently used for the Lego Marvel minifigure series blind bags, but they're in a couple sets I believe, and you can easily get these off of bricks and pieces on lego.com or Bricklink, but you can just stack a couple of them together, or just one if you want, and then just place it in a stud with a hole. I'm using a black one right now, you can just attach it on a base plate or something, attach these clear pieces, and you can just attach it, and um, now you can display your minifigure. But even if you don't want to use that technique, that flip-flop technique that I showed in this video, you can also display your flip-flop minifigures. You can just take the same clear piece, attach it into the hole that's in all of these flip-flop pieces for these scuba diving minifigures and just attach that black piece that was inserted into the flip-flop right there. And um, yeah, another way to display your flip-flopped minifigures. But anyway, I hope you bros enjoyed this video and uh, feel free to use this method. I created this method. I don't know if anybody's ever used this before. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to do this to these flip-flop pieces. Although one problem I have with this method is the fact that the flip-flops, like there's like the space in between them. So it looks a bit like the flip-flops are levitating or something, but Feel free to check out my other videos, I mainly do custom minifigures and mocks, but have a great day. See ya bros.